However, this particular coin is far from ordinary. It's a remarkable error coin, one that reveals its secrets upon closer inspection. Have you noticed the faint or shadowy lettering near its legend? This isn't just a quirk, it's a clue to its unique history. At Stax Bowers auction, this error coin fetched an impressive $1,560. What makes it so special? This 1983 British 20 pence was actually struck over a 1963 dated Hong Kong 10 cents. This extraordinary error occurred when a 1963 dated Hong Kong 10 cents coin was accidentally loaded into the planchet feeder for the 1983 British 20 pence. This type of minting mistake involving coins from two different realms and decades is a phenomenal rarity and highly sought after by world coin collectors, a true treasure in the numismatic community. At first glance, this coin might appear heavily circulated and perhaps even damaged, but looks can be deceiving. In reality, it's an uncirculated gem graded Mint State 63 by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS. Um, the unique charm of this coin is rooted in a production error that makes it a collector's delight. Introducing the 1978 Elizabeth II 10 cents from Hong Kong struck on an aluminum planchette rather than the standard nickel brass. This unusual mint error resulted in 10 cent dies impressing on an undersized and misshapen aluminum planchette. The anomaly manifests particularly on the obverse, where the rims are, cu are curiously curved and the details distorted, ca contrasted by a comparatively crisp strike on the reverse. The coin sports a pleasing gray tone and maintains a rather high level of preservation, adding to its allure as an extremely intriguing error piece. This remarkable coin captured the attention of collectors and fetched $2,280 at auction a testament to the unexpected treasures that can arise from minting mishaps. It is a standout piece in any numismatic collection. This 1967 Elizabeth II dollar coin from Canada is more than just a piece of, piece of currency. It's a fascinating example of a mint error known as the diving goose. This error occurred when the reverse die was rotated by 45 degrees, creating the visual illusion of a goose diving, a captivating twist to its regular design. Graded as PL64 by the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, this proof-like specimen stands out with its crisply executed strike and a soft veil of marbled gray toning. This toning enhances the fields, allowing the bold underlying brilliance to shine through, adding depth and allure to the visual presentation of the coin. At auction, this unique silver dollar celebrated for its distinctive error and stunning appearance was sold for $930. It serves as a prime example of how even errors in the minting process can create highly prized and valuable collectibles in the numismatic community. Believe it or not, a 1971 new half penny fetched over $1,700 at a coin auction. You might wonder how such a commonly circulated coin could command such a price. The answer lies in its uniqueness. This isn't just any pocket change. This lot features an error pair of 1971 new half pennies. The first coin has two obverses and the second two reverses. By 1983, the half pence was no longer used even as a tax unit, its primary purpose upon introduction, leading to its discontinuation by the Royal Mint except in mint sets in 1984, uh, marking its last appearance. This particular pair of coins represents an extraordinary error likely made at the very start of the production of this new, tiny denomination. Despite being graded MS61, these coins appear quite exceptional in their condition. This lot ultimately garnered $1,725 at a heritage auction. This is a 1965 Elizabeth II crown featuring a Churchill reverse. As you might observe, the coin displays some irregularities on either side, a result of being broadstruck. The term broadstruck refers to a minting error where the coin was not properly confined within the collar during the striking process. This misalignment allows the metal to spread beyond its intended boundary, resulting in the absence of the usual raised rim on one or both sides, and might even lead to a slightly distorted shape. Despite this deviation from the norm, this commemorative crown is impressive in its presentation, brimming with cartwheeling luster that makes it highly desirable for any collector of British coinage. Its unique characteristics and striking appearance captivated attention at auction, ultimately selling for $432, an exemplar of how, how minting errors can enhance the allure and value of a coin. 
Here's a truly exceptional find in the world of numismatics, a very rare Elizabeth II coin, colloquially known as a double-headed coin. This undated Hong Kong dollar features a unique anomaly. Both sides of the coin were struck by the obverse die. While the exact date of minting is uncertain, it is estimated to be within the years 1978 to 1980. The coin remains in an uncirculated, pristine condition and has been graded MS-65 by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS. This exceptional grading underscores its impeccable state and rarity, making it a coveted piece for collectors. At auction, this unique and striking error coin captured significant attention and enthusiasm, ultimately selling for $4,780. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through some of the rarest and most intriguing error coins featuring Queen Elizabeth II. Each piece tells a unique story, tell not just of numismatic history, but of the meticulous and sometimes flawed process of coin minting. If you enjoyed exploring these exceptional coins with us, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. Don't forget to like and share this video to help spread the word to fellow coin enthusiasts. We'd also love to hear from you. Comment below with your thoughts or any questions you might have, or share your own experiences with error coins. Your engagement helps us grow and continue bringing you more exciting content. So hit that subscribe button, like this video, and click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest releases. Until next time, keep your curiosity in mint condition and channel growth.